Hello, everybody. This is uh, the Mad Scientists. I'm Mad Frankie, and this is my friend Violet Igor. There she is. <laughs> now we're going to do a few things today. I'm going to show you um, Mr. Ugly first, because Mr. L Ugly needs a bit of surgery. <laughs> Here is Mr. Ugly. Let me raise this up so you can see him a bit better. Um, Violet, what is Violet doing? Violet is doing, um, what is Violet doing? I am doing a, folding a little booklet, a booklet fold star pop-up from the Art of the Fold book. Lovely. That's what I'm playing with today. Right, well, I'll turn you off for now. Yes, ma'am. Making sure I don't press remove from stream like last time. Yeah. <laughs> it suddenly disappeared. Right. This is Mr. Ugly. Poor little fella. Remove from stream like We've got um what was that? That was it that's all right. I fixed it. We're it's fine. What? Go on. Now, Kristen C, hello. Say hello to Mr. Ugly. Hi, Kristen. She, Mr. Ugly wow. is her mannequin this hat. is papier mache a pardon yeah. it's your it's papier mache pa paper mache yeah you you say it your papier -mâché. way papier mache it's from the french anyway doesn't matter i've always called it papier mache sorry um it's made from paper with pva glue and a one-to-one -one solution of pva glue to water so that's fairly simple isn't it um he's got a, a bit of a dent in his head now I've been trying to fix something up here and I can't get anything the right size and shape to do that. So I might have to just cover it. And if you look at him, his eyes are almost right on top of his head. So he's going to need a bit more forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Natalia. I've fixed one side of his cheek and I'm going to, I've started fixing this side. It needs a little bit more work and then some lips formed here. Plus, if you look, he doesn't exactly stay upright I'm trying to fix that here but it needs a bit more build up here so once i've got that done i might give him a bit of surgery on there at the same time but he definitely needs more here i think there's only sort of two layers here where the balloon was so there's not much in there you can actually if i hold that up to the light i can see through it so it needs a bit more so when i'm building up his forehead i'll do that as well but there we are there's mr ugly he's coming along he might look faintly human one day or he might just turn into a Nathander neanderthal but there we go so we'll pop him away for now because he's, he's a rather messy mate him, with uh, pba and water and glue and stuff now i got some um, the portcullis stencil <laughs> from pnm for which i am so happy let me move that a bit more over and uh, I just cut it, and here's, well, I cut a second one, actually, because I, I cut one before. And here's the um, the other bit, which I, uh, on the other one, I didn't actually use that. I cut it before <laughs> with um, only one set of arrows down here. I, I did have um, Mariah's permission to do that. I did ask first. Yes, because uh, those are from well, PM Artist Studio. So yeah, this, is, this is the PM Artist Studio one. In fact, it would just end in a, in a flat piece there without the arrowhead. But I was so convinced it was portcullis, I had to put arrowheads on because that's what comes and gets the guy. <laughs> so when I'm using the string on it, getting the pieces out of it and using the string, I found that when I was printing with it, it was rather fat and i didn't I, I got prints from it yeah sure they were pretty good but i thought i'd try it with thinner strings so i've taken the same string and separated it down into little bits and i thought i'd have a go with that you see so i'll stick a few of these down i won't do them all but i'll show you what i'm doing so you can see how i'm going to do it and then next time i'll have it done hopefully i want to say hello to uh uh janet Baum just came in she, oh hello janet 
she's one of our mods. I wanted to say hello. Hello, Janet. I'm going to put one on there. One of my favorite people. And you may, those sharp-eyed amongst you, may possibly notice this beetle. This is a weevil. And I've adjusted it so it's got bigger spots. So it's cut out quite nicely. That should work pretty well. You have to be careful not to use too much glue. And I do, I use too much glue. Because you, you, you've got to get it to come out in the first place. Come on, come out, glue. That's better. And then I guess I get too much. Two there, no more work. Put that in. Good down. Pop that in. Switch down. And then just carry on on all of them like that. That's yeah. what P did then ended up with that only slightly better and in fact while i'm here these two have come apart so i'm just going to do these two and fix those while i'm here so they can be drying while i'm not using it it dries pretty quick i mean it doesn't take long at all and I think the difference between yours and P's is that P had one long thread that she wove back and forth, whereas you're using individual threads. I find it easier to use the individual bits. I do. Yeah. Only one bit to worry about at a time. So I think all the rest are still stuck down. It was, oh, no, there's one more bit there. That was the other bit. I mean, this is um, Fabri-Tac. It does work, but sometimes I don't put down enough glue. The rest of it's still all right. So there we go. And, of course, you'll probably get a print of the glue when you're printing. But funny thing is I used this numerous times and didn't use that at all. <laughs> it's just so much more fun using the bit you've done yourself. <laughs> so there's that. I'm just going to do this one row, and then we'll get on and do some gel plating. I want to do some mark making. I haven't done mark making for ages. You know, I woke up today thinking that's what I wanted to do, and I never got round to it. Uh huh. Oh dear, I need a round to it. So if I use too little, it'll do the same thing again, and it won't stick properly. Hi, Mariah. Mariah says hello, and how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better, actually. I thought I was going to be like that forever for the for a moment there. But no, I seem to have recovered somewhat. I'm playing with your portcullis again. I was just saying, um, when I cut this one, I played with this one quite a few times, both sides. But I didn't use that at all. <laughs> it's like it's much more fun using the bit with the string. It's silly. I will use it. I will. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Oh, hello, Brad. It's all nice to see you. Oops, I've got um, glue on the surface. I'm going to have to get that up before I put my plate down. I can see that. Mariah says, well done. Playing with stencils, being silly, which is half the fun. Ooh. Yes, but you want to really be doing mark making, you said. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take these, these last few, and I'm going to remove the bits of string. All this is here is just bits that I cut off the main piece. I cut one piece, and that was plenty. I cut two pieces, actually, but I didn't need the other one. I only needed one piece to get enough bits to go along there. It's um, it's 
cut down into uh, it's untangled into about eight or nine pieces eight or nine ply so yeah pretty good so i'll leave that mariah, and, uh, says, mariah says p is with izzy as she should be uh -huh. i think p likes the string parts better too and she says be right back mm -hmm. i am going to let everyone in makers know you are live okay appreciate that thank you yeah i never remember to tell anybody what i'm doing <laughs> Well, I posted in my group and I posted on my personal page and I never think to go beyond that. So I appreciate if Ma Mariah does, does it in Makers. I thank you very much. Because I normally do this on here and then it's much easier to pull it all up when it's not uh, tacking and sticking the things. So I'll put it... On that bit of cardboard there. Blah, blah, blah. There we are. So that's what I'm doing. So now I've got two of these and some glue on here somewhere, which I've got to get up. There we are. See, frogs and bugs stencil. Well, bugs. <laughs> so we've got that far. And, and. Da 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 da. <laughs> it arrived and i ordered I used so much of this that on the small one the little one it's almost empty so i bought another one and i got the biggie and when i got that biggie they also had that one which is iridescent green yellow so i've got iridescent blue green and iridescent green yellow lovely Ooh. can't wait to try that one out so there's my bug that's my little weevil uh, again, yeah, I lost you. Bring, your bug, up and put it, bring your bug up closer and put the, uh, the the blue green or the. There you go. Bring it up closer so I can see it. I don't know if anyone else wants to see it, but put it over that color. Oh, sure. Yeah, that could put light. it over that. Yeah, because it really stands out. I like that. I call him but the. It really well in black. Uh, he's got huh? the. Uh, I always say he's the bug with the uh, pipes on his nose. Yeah, well, he should have antenna on his nose. And I, I've done it wrong again because these little bits, I forgot to attach them together. Uh -huh. But I've got that piece, so you can always add them back in like that. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Not a problem because I've got the mask and the stencil on. I've no idea which is which, but I've got both. So I will put that down for now and bring up the plate because I want to do some mark making. So uh, the one thing I want to do some mark making with is just let me reach over. And these two. So I've got this, which is a barbecue brush. Lovely thing. Lovely. And somewhere, I don't know whether it's available here. Uh, probably not. It's um, I've got the the less frondy, the more um, slightly stiffer Tim Holtz one. With a, oh. It just looks like this, really, but it's slightly different. And, of course, brushes and beetles and bits of cardboard. Thank you, Mariah. Lovely. So that's fun. And anything else? I mean, bits of string and definitely things like this. <laughs> you make marks with that. But I particularly wanted to do the one where you have to think about what you're doing. You know, what am I going to do? Uh, that kind of thing. So let's have a go. Let's have a go. Let me get rid of my scissors. I'll move these things off the brayer off sheet so I've got somewhere to actually brayer off. Pop them up there so I can reach them. And put beetles safely. 
to one side over there. I probably won't see him for the rest of this session now. But there we go. Uh, you can also use things like this. And it's just a, a thing um, for modelling with. Um, originally invented for modelling with icing sugar and things like that. But I've always used them for polymer clay. But that will do just as well, as long as you haven't got one with a sharp bit. If you've got a sharp bit, sand it off to make it smooth. I Otherwise have you could a set of those for, that I use in with my polymer clay. And I know, uh, I think it's Christy Biddleson. She does the mandala dot rocks and i think she uses something like that i love it hi carol the magical touch studio hi carol and you can use string like that as well hello carol glad you could pop in oh and i've got the other beetles there as well i'd forgotten i got those there so there's the original one of the weevil with tiny tiny little marks that you can barely see so i've just made them a bit bigger good Oh, well, there should be a couple more somewhere, the alien one somewhere, but that'll do for now. It doesn't really matter. Now, what colours am I going to use? Uh, get the string off for now. I think I want a bigger bit of string as well, so that I can have a more of a play with sizes. Okay. Apparently, I can't do this while I'm watching you because I just screwed it up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's I am sorry. No, it's your fault. I think it might be. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault. Well, I, I, always, I had to, to, to do a cutout, and I needed to cut out two sides and just score and fold on the third side. Well, of course, I cut all three sides out. Never mind. Let's see if I can do any on here before it dries up. They are cute, aren't they? Carol says, oh, cute critter bugs. And Fran drew all of them herself. Yep. They're, they are not a uh, uh, pre-made. Yeah, even the weevil, I just copied that from a, a, a picture online, a photo of a real one. And I just uh, changed the markings a little bit. Now then. Thank you, Mariah. Thumbs up, everyone. We appreciate the thumbs up and the good vibes and the smiley faces and the hearts. Right, there's a couple. You've got to be fairly quick to, because don't forget this is still acrylic paint and it still works the same way as other acrylic paint. And it's still going to dry up if you're not too careful. I'm not very expert at that. So. And this one. I'm probably going to pull this with tissue, see what happens. Oh, come back, you beastly bit of a spring. Doze it out. <laughs> now, it's pewter I've just used. So I'm going to try and pull it with black tissue. Ooh, black. Mm -hmm. Simply because that was the piece that was over there. Oh, well. <laughs> Because it you know was handy. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I'm going to use a piece of my badly printed poetry to try and get in all the orifices. Probably yeah, pull well, up all the paint the comes paper. through on that black paper, doesn't it? It does somewhat, yeah. I don't want to yeah. pull too much because I want to get it off in a hurry. Well, there's still some marks down there. There we go. That's not too bad. So I've got some marks on there. It looks rather good, like old silver. Hmm. Not bad at all. Quite pleased with that. Hey. Lovely. So there's one. Interesting. 
By the way, your no, fingernails no. look really, really nice today. Really colorful. Okay. I just fixed three of them. Four, five, six. I fixed six, seven of them. Yeah. <laughs> they were all getting a bit crabby, like me. Mariah is lovely. I like that uh, pewter look. On black so paper. if I were to pull that with another bit of black, if I had some more black somewhere. Hello, black tissue, where are you hiding? I'm not saying a word. What tissue there? Don't you dare. <laughs> I won't say it. I'm not saying it. No, don't say it. There's Unlike right what here. you said to me the other night. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. That's really rather nice. I really rather like that. Surprising how well it came out. I've hesitated to use it. So I've got another sheet here, but I want that to dry somewhat. It won't be long. It's nearly there now. Okay, and Mariah, I have other... has, to... Mariah has to go off to a meeting. She'll be back. Oh. After, okay, she's gonna leave us on and running. So you just keep right. right on running. I hope you have a good meeting. Yeah. And I've got my some of my old circles I made before, so I can use those. I'm just trying to get down to the um, dryer. There we are, the dryer. <laughs> it's nearly dry anyway. So I'm wondering what shall I put on top. Let's try the green. Because I'd like to try the green. I'll have to tell Mariah to come back and watch the beginning where you showed Mr. Ugly's head. Yes. Yes. Because she missed that. Uh -huh. There is a little bit coming off. I keep going. I really must have a go at adding some mica to a uh, little pot of stuff. I might add some to the violet oxide. That might be interesting. Now, I made that as violet oxide trends by putting in four tablespoons of impasto, gloss impasto in with the violet oxide. So that makes it, thins it out and makes it slightly transparent. Oh, I know. We were going to, I think we were going to ask um, Mariah or P what makes the metallic metallic. Mica, isn't it? I think it's Mica. Is that Mica. what we decided? Well, I think it is. I mean, they're, they're not using real metal, powdered metal, like you get in some metal paints. At least, I certainly don't think so. I don't Nobody's know. Nobody's mentioned this. That would be a selling point if they did. Probably more expensive, too. Oh, yes. Absolutely. So unless you need it for a specific purpose. Don't do that. Wow, is that green? That is green. It definitely is. It said yeah, it on the package. That's like neon. Well, not quite, is it? No. I mean, I think I've got some neon paint in the craft paints, but it's flipping good. Lime green, I would have called it myself. There we go. Lime What's that? I've got a funny shaped blueberry thing on my. Oh, I can't mess with it. I've got to carry on regardless. Carry on. Black paper again. Okie dokie. Yep. Black tissue. Hi, Lisa Mingus. Let's get buggy. Hello, Lisa. That's that's what Fran did. Is she got buggy? She buggy. all night long. <laughs> it does bring quite a bit off. I I used the blue, the fluorescent blue on the um black tissue, and boy did I get a lot off. I got a whole sheet of absolutely lovely 
stuff just by pressing it like this. Yeah. Not so much on that one. Probably means I didn't use too much. No, that's got to wait. So we'll get another sheet and we'll have a go with some white tissue. You mean another plate? Yeah, another plate. Oh, this is some white tissue. What have I done with the other plate? Um, be in the tin, I expect. The tin is down here. Oh, there's the other two bugs down there. <laughs> the alien bugs. They're quite big, the alien bugs. I can use those as well. Oh, yeah, I like those. Uh -huh. Good, I'm glad. I thought for sure I ruined my gel plate the other night when I used that Wonder Under on it. Yeah. Warning, don't use Wonder Under on the gel plate. No matter well, what they say, it doesn't work. Well, no, it really, not the way I used it. Maybe I did something wrong and I have to go watch a video, it, but it didn't work well. No, it separated the glue from the, whatever the fabric is. Yeah, the adhesive. I wonder what I did with those. Yeah, because it'd be interesting to show people. Yeah. This is the remnants of beetles. I can see beetle shapes. That do. Now something different. There we go. A bit oh, hang on. Let me let you see. Want to see me? Well, I did a. There you go. Now they can see what you're doing. Yeah, I tried to do a pull with Wonder Under, heavy duty Wonder Under. And I used the non adhesive side to go down. Well, I think, no, I think I used the adhesive side to go down. Didn't you for, do it twice and throw both? Yeah, I did. I did it three times, actually, because the other sheet, which I can't find, the uh, I pulled the adhesive off before I inked it. But anyway, uh -huh. the first side was this side. Yeah. And that's where the adhesive was, and I ended up with this. Skin adhesive yeah, skin. Yeah, the adhesive that I laid down and I did a pull and all this is all I got from it and I tore it. Silly me, silly me, no big deal. But anyway, this is what came off. It's a very thin sheet of adhesive. It's fibrous. Kind of pretty. That means surely that you could put that acrylic onto some fabric. Right. Yeah, a yeah? thin fabric. It. it didn't stiffen it up too much, but mm -hmm. it really didn't leave anything on the plate or the paper. So I turned the paper over and did a pull and I got that. Yeah. Which, is, which isn't too bad. This paper is different. It's, uh, I don't know what to call it. It makes me think of onion skin, but it's thicker. Yeah. So it, mm. it, it left it mappy. I think you liked it when it was mappy. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And then I did, it took me, I That's think, lovely. four pulls before I finally got down to these two. Those are lovely. 
I thought they it's were. Like the fire looking into the fireplace. Oh yeah. Isn't it? But I also did a few other pulls. This one and this one. And this is tissue paper. With... You're too fast with those with those circles. You want to bring one of those back. You want one of those back? What do you want to see? Yeah. I really like that. And that I like was... the stencil that you made to do that. That was now, just explain magenta. how you got that because that's weird. Well, when I laid the stencil down, it wasn't even a stencil. It was just a sheet that I used to. Uh, I wanted the circles to make buttons. Yeah, so it was cardboard, yeah? Yeah, so it was leftover cardboard type. And I uh -huh. kept it and I used it for this. But when I put it down on the gel plate, then I put uh, tissue paper or paper over it and rubbed it this is what was left because obviously you can't get into the circles all the way so it left a shadow yeah because the cardboard sucked up the paint because it was completely covered in paint and the, the the tissue sucked up what was in the circles and the cardboard um stencil actually sucked up the bits around so you were left with those rims i think it's brilliant and i used a uh a buff or something like that to pull it. It's a very light, uh, got a green tint to it, but it's a very light yeah, color so to do the total pull. And then well, this- It wasn't corrugated cardboard, was it? It was just thin no, card. No, it wasn't corrugated. It was, yeah, it was just a piece of, it wasn't as thick as chipboard. It was just a piece of cardboard. I, I don't know, yeah. No yes, more Lisa, I reckon you could. She's asking, could you put it down on fabric and use backing or wax paper to cover and iron on your oh, absolutely. bit of? Yeah, you absolutely could. It's still, it's still adhesive. It still works. Yeah. Um, and then I used Pia Miter Studio, a partial uh, stencil that I have. I have half. Fran has half because that's what we do. Uh -huh. And I got two poles, yeah. two different poles here. This is deli paper. And this is packing paper. And then this is like um, dressmaker's paper. A good impression on the packing paper. Yeah, yeah not bad. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty bold. Exactly. Yeah, I like that one. And then this is just another pull. And this is on, uh, let's see, this one I think is the hammer mill. Uh, gloss paper and then the rest mm -hmm. are just copy paper or used copy paper that was the other night when you and I played together yep yeah. but yes please so you could put the adhesive down you could use it to yeah put that on fabric or you could iron it on um, another piece of cardboard. Like if you were making a journal, it would go on a journal cover. You could use it to iron on. Absolutely. The adhesive is still good. It's still there. I like that one underneath. Yeah, you do. Oh, it, looked, it looked good through the adhesive. You know, <laughs> you put the adhesive back down. That's a lovely color. <laughs> And that is the golden high flow magenta that we um, found out that I didn't care for on the gel plate. Yeah. This this was using the, the it's very wet and it not very nice on the gel plate. So there's a there's a method to using that that P was using and she did explain it, but I can't remember it. So I'll have to go back and have a look. Yep. Because obviously I wasn't paying attention either because you did tell me that. No. Like, well, but see, yep. I, I just had to do mad scientist stuff too anyway. It wasn't going to matter yeah. what you said. I was going to do what I was going to do. Yeah. Yes, I go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, I, I wouldn't advise putting this down on the gel plate. There's, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't yeah, advise yeah, it because yeah. I wouldn't want anyone to ruin their gel plate if the adhesive should happen to stay on the plate. Like I said, if, yeah. even though I pulled it off, I was concerned. You and I were both concerned that I had ruined my gel plate. And if you see the where it's 
torn here, these pieces, these bits, that's because something was keeping the paper, was adhering to the paper and tearing underneath, leaving the paper on the gel plate. Yeah. And you could see some of that here. You could see it here, right here. What could just be drying? I mean, I've had that happen myself without having used any adhesive at all. Yeah, I don't know. It I just, but it's not really worth doing it. It is isn't. It, it absolutely okay. isn't worth putting it, putting the adhesive part on the gel plate. And the paper, yeah. the paper, only one side wanted to take the color. Uh huh. <laughs> Lisa Nothing. says, I love it. Do you think? Yeah, Fran and I tend to. We tend to do that. Okay. Certainly do. Right. Are you done now? Yes, I am. Thank you, Master. You're okay. <laughs> That's damn me. I mean, she's the one that teaches me everything. It's the other way around in the world. Here we go. It's back to me again. There we now go. then. I'm going to do some dark colors so I can see what I'm doing with the mark makey bits. And I'm thinking indigo. I've got black oxide in the Amsterdam, which I've not used before. I mean, I've used a tiny bit because I got a tiny little 20 mil tube in the uh, starter kit thing I got. But let's have a go with the indigo. There we go. And there are other things you can use for mark making, like, uh, well, in fact, like my dryer, like that. And Pease used one of those, and she uh, used hers better because she got all the paper off hers. But I deliberately left some on mine so that I'd have something with a bit more pattern, uh, a bit less pattern, a bit more randomness. Random, yeah. I yeah. would say you can use just about anything on your gel plate for mark making as long as it's not sharp or pokey. Yes. Or glue. Or glue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or 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 a uh, a product that would stick. So you could use anything. You could to either mark make or um, what is the other impression? Leave an impression. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got some impression plates here. Right. There's one with Polynesian, geometric Polynesian, and with one of mine on there, mixed media one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this one over here. There we go. And I think I'm going to use this bit over here to see if I get lines, which I do. There we go. Isn't that nice? So that's a mark makey. And now I've got marks on everything. <laughs> so there's there's less pattern there, but I'm going to leave that. And uh, where's the tissue? I was going to use white tissue. Yeah, I think we won't see it clearly very well until you pull it. Mm-hmm. Well, I can, oh, that's rice paper, so I better pull it quite quick. Right, I'm going to pull it quite quick and quite lightly. I'm not going to do it very strongly. That's it. There we go. Oh, lovely. Look at that texture. Very I nice. like it. That's nice. And then I should have a piece of proper tissue tissue as opposed to having a, one of those in the way. And if I pop this down on top, you can get more. I might oh, get a second, second one. But wait, there's more. Now, will I get it now or later? Now. There we go. Very <laughs> nice. Lovely. And there's still a third. And I still got, yeah, I've still got stuff there. That is going to have to dry and become one with another color so what shall i do shall i do an orange i mean this is not cheddar but um it's as close as i've got and until i get the swatches i won't be able to tell what to do with it to get it closer i mean there's this there's um cadmium yellow deep 
and one would need a drop of blue, but I need the swatch to see what I'm going to do. So let's um, draw this one off. Should be fairly dry by now anyway. I can see there's a little glisten there, so it's not quite dry. So I want to create some more beetles. I see I've managed to block this up. <sighs> oh, well. Yes, yes. So I wondered about that. If you didn't wipe them, would they? I was too busy doing lots of prints. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's the time when you want to put it into a, uh, a dish of water. Lisa says, orange is always good. I don't know about that, but okay. Yeah, I don't know about that either, but. Eh. It's good on pumpkins. I'm not a fan <laughs> of orange. <laughs> well. One has to try these things and see what happens. Jean Peters loves, it's her favorite color, orange, but not. Yeah, but it won't be orange. That's the thing. It won't be orange when it, it'll only be orange in patches. The rest of it will be blued. So it'll go yep. brown, won't it? Okay. And, you know, the only reason cheddar cheese is yellow or orange, whatever color, cheddar cheese is actually white. They use a coloring to make it yellow and more uh, inviting, more, more. Yeah. Different. But actually, cheddar cheese is white or whitish, I should say. It's not naturally well, yellow. Well, our cheddar cheese is, is more sort of very, very, very pale. Um, I'd say Naples yellow light. <laughs> <laughs> we think in pink. Colors. Whereas yours is more red Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> we have red Leicester. <laughs> Call hi, Anne. Anne Lair is here. Woohoo! Hello, Anne. Hello. Lovely that you could come. Yes, it is. Great to see you. Thank you, dear. I I miss Anne. Anne, has a, Anne has a Facebook group, and she has every Thursday. Oh, I think Thursday, Anne. You can correct me if I'm wrong. She does a, a uh, she opens a room and come visit and chat and sit and play and whatever. And I've gone in there a few times. I haven't been in there in too long, and I miss Anne. I miss that. I've just been. I'm going to have to do that one. Right, I'm going to swap this with the other one. See if it's ready. I still say that's pumpkin. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty pumpkin y. I'll swap it with that one. Uh oh. I seem to have those. Let's put them back. Yes, over. it's Thursday at 10 a.m. Central. Nope, not Central Time. Eastern Time. 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Because Anne's in Florida. You can join her chat room and play with everybody. You can't see it yet. <laughs> no, nope, you're doing that thing you always do. You don't show me. <laughs> You're just mean. <laughs> Whip it away. This is very subtle. Oh. Very subtle. So we've got the pewter. And we've got the marks in the pewter. And then we've got the green, iridescent green, yellow. Iridescent green, yellow from Pabeo. Pretty good. Uh, I like it. There's room to do stuff there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's really rather subtle. I mean, you could use that on a greens page as, as another shade, another, you know, if you're doing uh, a page of greens, which I fully intend to do, you can um, have a bright green, a neon green. You can have something with green and brown and green and blue and black and uh, gold and all that. And then you can have this little subtle thing off to the side as a nice little contrast. I do like that. I, like I really, that. really like that. I'm just wondering if it, it would have made a difference whether it was on white paper or black paper. Did the black paper really do anything? Do the it? same thing again and do it on white. 
and see what happens. Yeah. Just curious. And I would need to do the same thing again as I did with this one and pull it first with black tissue because that is lovely. Really now, is. Good. Now that I can see there being a difference because the black really pops on those lines. Yeah. So I was thinking uh, use some of these that I've made earlier. <laughs> Nests of um, little bits of doodah string. Yeah. So what do I put down first? Pewter. Okay, pewter. Yep. And then your mark making. Don't have to do the same marks, though. No, you can do whatever you want. Really? <laughs> yes, you have my permission. Ooh, okay, Igor, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that hay fever didn't carry on. That was awful. Yeah. Oh, Janet, I'm so sorry what you've got. Oh, my heavens. Right. That was so bad. Yep. Couldn't imagine. Yep. I don't I don't want to yeah. Yep. What Janet's going through. Yep. I know what mm. you mean. You'll get me crying. Don't get me crying. There you go. Another one. This is so fascinating to watch. Are you sure? I'm <laughs> not so sure. I think it's a bit boring. I was dripping with it there. You just didn't notice. Dripping? Dripping with, dripping with sarcasm. Were you? <laughs> it's so fascinating to watch you play string. <laughs> so I want to do a bit with this because I like this. One of my favorite little things for making marks. I've got it's no idea what it is. It's probably a massage thingy. For foot massage or something. I don't know. No idea. Oh, bother. <laughs> the drippy sarcasm, man. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then that means I hung out with you too often and I blame it on you. My attitude, I blame on you. I learned from you. <laughs> now, can I say that? <laughs> Have it's too late now. Black or white? Wait, wait, black or white? Black. Too late. Too late. I thought you were going to pull with white because you're already. No, black first. Okay. Uh, black first. I thought the point was to see how it looked with white compared to the black that you've already pulled. Yeah, but we're going to use the white afterwards. Okie dokie. We're going to get the first pull first. Like that. I'll be in a New Yorker. Anne's from New York. <coughs> I probably butchered that sound. There we go. Now we take the string off. To reveal the pattern below. And then <clears throat> we dry this and put the green on top. So we've got to dry it first. <laughs> 
Your special, super special drying apparatus. Yeah, and it's now decorated. <laughs> and there's another thing to play with. <clears throat> I have to tell you, changing the subject away from arts and crafts, my husband is on a job site today in Wild Rose, Wisconsin. Is that not a cute name for a little town? Wow. Wild <laughs> Rose. Lovely. Yeah. You tell everybody the story. Well, wait until uh, I'd like you to tell the story about... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the car but not until i tell you because i want to go and make a cup of tea while you're doing it okay <laughs> i don't know does he want me to publicize that i'd be so afraid someone he works with watches us and <laughs> really you think That's somebody you work with is gonna watch this yeah i know right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest thing oh my gosh I had Fran was he came in and Fran you're not me. allowed to tell it yet you're not I'm allowed not to tell it yet. It. just that he must got me laughing so hard you started coughing and near choking yeah <laughs> yep definitely did <laughs> he was ranting and raving <laughs> we're going to try this on the white so let's put this on Right. Move that out of the way because I want to bring it off. Right there. The thing is, is I'm not a very good storyteller. <laughs> well, you did it quite well when you told me. <laughs> yeah, it was fresh in my mind and, and occurring at the time. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, just do it long enough for me to go and make a cup of tea, that's all. So I need something for my throat. <clears> yeah. <throat> and Ian enjoyed it, right? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He thought it was lovely. <laughs> now, where have I put the white tissue? There's one somewhere. White tissue, where are you? There's a whole load of it up here. There we go. One white tissue. Now that's two white tissues. Thank you. I only want one. Yep. Right, that's going to wait. And in the meantime, I'm going to pull this one. And then you can tell your little story while I run off and make a cup of tea. Pull this one. We can leave Orange the, and brown. We can leave the camera on your screen though. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Wow. That's not too bad at all, wow. is it? No, oh, that's looks like we need to me. That's that's pure Halloweeny. That's the only reason to use orange. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll say orange. Orange is for vests if you're a highway <laughs> worker or it's Halloween. <laughs> I'm going to get some, some lines from the creases on the next one. Okay. Uh, I am now going to go and make a cup of tea as fast as I can. You tell your story, okay? Okay, I'll tell my story. Mm -hmm. Hi, Deb C. Um, the story. Hmm. Okay, so husband and I were going to take a ride Saturday afternoon to the river to the park down by the river just to get out for a while it was in the 70s and when we got out to the garage we noticed we had a flat tire and it had it was the second time in a week that we'd had that tire go flat so we knew it was a situation that called for it to be taken into the shop and fixed so he called a shop that's like three minutes away and they couldn't get him in till sunday so sunday he took the car to the shop 
and he was going to stay there and wait because he knew it wouldn't take long. And when it came time to for the mechanics to work on the car, they went out to the parking lot and with the keys and to get the car to pull it into the shop. And the mechanic could not get the car started. Um, it just wouldn't start. All the lights and everything came on, but according to the mechanic, the, the car would not start. So, and then my husband even got in the car and tried to turn it on and all the lights and the radio and everything came on, but the car would not start according to them. There were three mechanics in the shop and my husband, the car would not start. So my husband called me and I was in a live video chat with Fran at the time. My husband called me and said that you, you have to come pick me up with the other vehicle because our vehicle is stuck here and we'll have to have someone from the dealership come and get it. And I'm, I was not dressed completely. So I said, okay, I'll be there in a minute. And I ran, put the phone on the table and I ran upstairs and this is going to get personal. I put my bra on and then I grabbed my pants and I had one leg in my pants and my husband is calling back. And so I'm holding on to my pants, holding my pants up with one leg in there. And I hop down the stairs, grab the phone, push the button. And I say, what? And he says, stay. And I said, sit, roll over, play dead. <laughs> and he started laughing and I sat down on the stairs and he said, no, I mean, stay. You don't have to come and get me. We put the car in drive and now it will start. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. And he says, I know. He says, we're going to have to take it to the dealer and it'll probably cost eight or $9,000 to have them look at the gear shift and find out what the problem is. And I said, okay, well, I'll, that's cutting into my health care money and I'll make sure I don't have a heart attack and go in the hospital because we can't afford it. I was just being sarcastic. <laughs> So I get, uh, so I finished getting dressed and everything. And I went ahead and hooked back up with Fran and we were back live playing what you saw, what I did earlier. And my husband came home and he walked in the door and he says, well, I'm a dumb, shh, bad word. And I said, what did the light bulb go on? And he said, how did you know? He said, I pulled up in the garage and I had a light bulb moment. And I'm like, well, you need, and to clarify, Fran is sitting there on the other side of the video and she can hear everything that's going on and hear him going on. And he said, as soon as I pulled up into the garage, I realized what happened, that there was nothing wrong with the car, that it was fine. And I said, what did you figure out? And he said, well, we have a hybrid car. And that I just lost it. I just cracked up laughing. And if anybody has a hybrid car understands that when they start up, unless you've got something running like the heater or the radio or whatever, you cannot hear the car start. It starts by the battery. It's electrical. And yeah. you don't, you don't hear a run run or anything like that. You don't hear an engine running because the engine is not running basically. Until you yeah, it only, it only makes a noise when you're actually moving, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> so the mechanic yeah. had no clue that the car was actually running because he couldn't yep. hear it. And my husband subliminally thought, and I, I, I said, I let him off the hook. He says, I know better than that. I was just being a dumb and I said, well, the thing is, the mechanic told you it didn't start. And so you reacted to that. You didn't stop yeah. and think, why not? You just, you know, it, it was, you, yeah. had to, you had to be there. Fran was laughing. Yeah. So it was hard. hilarious. <laughs> he came back and he said, he said, the mechanic didn't realize it was a, an electric car. So there was no noise. And then he said, it's a blooming good job he didn't put it in gear and drive it into a wall. 
Yeah, I, I just really, pushed that. Yeah. No. I know. It's like, that's <laughs> Hi, what Julie. I said. You know, he, if he drove it into the wall, he would have known it was running. I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would have proved it. Yeah. I'll put that that <laughs> I just. Now then. It was funny. Okay. <laughs> so we've got some marks on here that I quite like to get, and I've got a nice bit of bubble wrap. Now, some bubble wrap comes with two layers, uh, or maybe three layers, because uh, this one has only got two. It's got one layer that's almost flat, and the other layer has got the obtrusions of the bubbles. Some of them have another layer on top, so that you don't get much pattern. This is yeah. good for texture making, this one. Julie the kind of here. Oh. Hi, Julie. Oh, yeah. I'm I said hi. I said hi. Okay. Hi, hi. Okay. So, what are we going to pick that up with? Um, let's do something a bit interesting. Let's do something I don't normally do. Let's do Caput Mortuum Violet. Because oh. I don't normally use that. It's a bit pinky for me, but I can always add a bit of orange and turn it brown. <laughs> oh and and let me just say please do not share that with that story with anyone that my husband works with because he said i can tell anyone but please don't tell anyone that he works with <laughs> there, there you go now i've said my yeah got my butt covered there <laughs> <laughs> So we put it down, bubble side down, which is that side. And I'm not pressing all of it, just bits. Just to get little impressions. Oh, I was going to, um, I was going to play, I was going to get some uh, saran wrap, uh, plastic wrap, plastic film, and just scrunch it up and just dauber. Mm -hmm. Here and there, see what I came up with. So I'm adding some of these because I think it will be nice. Right. So I'm going to pull that with black tissue because I've still got three sheets left. Three sheets to the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. No. The thought. <laughs> Ew, comes through already. Where's my sheet of paper? Oh, there we are. What's that other tool you have there? Julie wants to know. Is some little, little, maybe a massager or something that she found? This? Yeah. yeah, I've got no idea. I mean, it's lovely. It's just, I, I had never found the, the, I don't know what the rest of it might be. But, I don't know, I found it lying around the house. I've got absolutely no idea. It might be something that belonged to my brother. It might be something of mum's. It might be a really old thing of mine that I've got no idea. Or one of the kids, no idea. Anything. Don't know. But it looks like it ought to be a massager with those little things. If it was on a something that vibrates and then you get your massage. Ugh, and also the paint. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for foot massage or something. Ooh. Or shoulder massage. I don't know pass it looked like something that i i wouldn't mind um using look at that i got the pattern through that look at that <laughs> oh that's that black paper yeah but i got the pattern showing up that with the pattern that i just made so oh it wasn't yeah just, okay you know I mean? yeah weird cool very cool so that's that one I could have done with some Lucas Krill on first or something. Well, maybe we'll do that Lucas Krill on top. That could be an idea. What color did you use there? You said violet? Uh, Caput Mortuum Violet. Uh-huh. Amsterdam. Julie's like, uh, oh, wow. And Lisa says it's a nail brush. Nah, I don't know about a nail brush. No, it's not a nail brush. I wouldn't put that on my nails. Look at the size of them. Nah. So I'm going to use the Lucas Krill. Now, 
Patricia says that this is a bit chalky to use, so you could be quick. So if I'm going to use it on there, I'm going to use it with the black tissue and pull it quite quickly. Okay. Or I could use it with that and pull it quite quick. I don't know. No, let's let's stick with the Lucas Krill. That was my yeah, first idea. Yeah. So let's get my drying agent. Got to have a go with my beetles afterwards. Want to do some beetles. Yeah, I don't like know. Beetles. Julie came in. Ju Julie only just came in, so she hasn't actually seen your beetles well yet. Got to have a go with them in a minute. And then I want to have a go with the <clears throat> string that uh, we did somewhere. There we go, under there. The string version I've already done with the bigger string. I'd like to try the small string, but I've got to glue it down first. So what difference it makes. <coughs> not quite dry yet let me try this yes she did she saw some pictures of, of bugs that she liked and she drew her own version of them Julie so yeah she well, what I, did, I looked at bugs and I drew this one <clears throat> that with its proper bit going up there <clears throat> is a weevil but the pattern is less intense than it was because the original one didn't print out uh didn't work so well it's just too small right the holes are too small <coughs> so and then this one is the shape of a lady beetle ladybug ladybird but i gave it lots of other markings different ones because i felt like it and these two I just went completely nuts with and didn't okay. bother looking at anything. I just did the uh, <clears throat> the legs in the in the uh, arrangement that beetles' legs normally go, you know, two pointing that way and one pointing that way. Hold them up a little <clears throat> more closer to the center. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. Very cool. Very cool. And um, gave them weird looking. I mean, there are some beetles, staghorn beetles, I think, have these sort of frondy looking tops. So it's a sort of combination of beetles and probably there are so many millions of beetles in the world. I think it's about the third of the world's population <clears throat> are beetles. Something like that. We love so I reckon that there's probably some of these around somewhere. Sorry, Violet. I was just saying, and don't mind me. Mariah is back in lurking working mode. Lurking working mode. Yeah. That sounds complicated. She needs a vacation. Yeah. They well, well you keep inventing lovely stencils and then having to wrap them up and post them off. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. I ordered my stencils in, in during the stream Sunday morning. I believe it was Sunday morning. By Sunday night, I think it was, Mariah, they were already packed and shipped in the mail wow I mean, woman do you go to the bathroom do you sleep do you eat <laughs> i picture you with with izzy being a baby with a child on your hip and brad wanting supper and you're standing at the stove cooking i'm just saying <laughs> i think that's good enough just about good. All in yeah. Julie says the ones, the beetles with the small holes would be good for blending over with ink and the blending makeup brushes I use. Oh, they'd be great. Really? Yeah, great for I don't like to see any of those. Like yeah. to see those blending makeup brushes. <clears throat> now, it, what was I going to Oh, Lucas Krill. That's what I was going to do. Lucas Krill. That. And we need a sheet of the black. Mariah is superwoman. Mm. There we are. There's my sheet of black ready. Because you've got to be quick with this just in case it's as bad for me here as it is for 
Bye, you. Carol. Thank, Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Who was that? Cheryl? Carol from the Magical Touch Carol. Studio. Oh, bye-bye, Carol. Thanks for dropping in. I'd like, you'll have to show pictures, Julie, because I, I, the blending makeup brushes, I'm not sure, like stipple brushes or stippling. I was going to say, yeah, get your white paper. Or you'll have it all over your hands. Yeah, exactly. Why that? <laughs> I should have it over my hands anyway. Yeah. Gonna use the beetles next. Beetles, beetles. I want beetles. Uh, I'm not gonna put that. Mariah, you didn't. You didn't hear the uh, Fran went off to get tea and let me entertain the troops. And I had a really funny story to tell of an event that happened with my husband over the weekend. Just You'll have to go back and listen to it. Or maybe it was only funny to us. Like the ones telling you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Well, Mariah says, can you post a pic in Makers anyway? I'm going to take that away to sit for a bit, so we'll bring back the green one. And see how far we've got with that. Ooh. Oh, well. Okay, when, you, when you can, Julie. Oh, yes. I'm getting something. Um, I'm You're far out. I'm going to it. The, the orange and the lime green and the the whatever moratorium violet caput yeah uh -huh. mortuum yeah yep, like you said caput means um broken and mortuum means dead so uh broken dead violet <laughs> that's very subtle it was better on the black paper yeah, it didn't really come through, did it? It did, but you've got to be here in person to see it. You can't see it otherwise. Well, when you tip it toward, when you tilt it just a certain way, the light catches the marks, but mostly there they're lost. Yeah. So it would be good collage material if you're putting something over the top. You can well, see some marks. Likes it. Yeah. Subtlety's all pretty good in its place but you've got to have a place to put it so if you want that to show up just so you know I want that to show up on white let's put some black on top <laughs> broken dead violet are you hinting at something that's what caput mortuum means isn't it oh what did you see the other day that had us cracking up what was that? I think Ross said I needed to go sit in the corner. Right. <laughs> I know what you said. It just came to mind. What did I say? Ross told me to go sit in the corner. And you yeah. defended me. Did I? Yeah. Well, what's what, my what nickname? Did say? What's my nickname? Oh, yes. Nobody puts babe in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> Julie says that's what Patricia calls frog green. I don't know. That's, that's, I thought frogs were darker than that. Maybe. Yeah, in, I think they're darker. This is they're iridescent darker. green. This is an iridescent green, so it's it's quite shiny. It would be good with the bugs. Yeah, well, I did a, a one with bu uh, bugs. I used um, the non 
iridescent because it hadn't arrived then. I just used the same sort of colour of green. Yep. But uh, without the shiny. I'm going to put oxide black on top. Let's see what happens. Brad says that was dun, lime dun, dun, to me, dun. and Patricia says that is lime green or neon. It, I thought it looked neon too. Not right? neon. It's not neon. I've got some neon. It's definitely not neon. Mm. It's not quite bright enough. It's just it's a question of people's different monitors and cameras and everything. Yeah, and and Mariah says I like the lime. Frog green is like Kermit the Frog. Yes, Kermit. Yeah. Well, it's sort of on that area. Isn't it? Wow. So you went from lime green to this. This is okay. And then we have our now this is an altered PM Artist Studio stencil altered because yeah. Fran drew daggers down at the bottom because it's supposed to be a, a portcullis. Did I say that yes. correctly, um, Fran? Not quite. Portcullis. Okay. Yeah. Almost. And she said they should have daggers on the bottom so that when they come down, if anybody's underneath, it will stab them and kill them. Yep. Well, not just stab them, but it's huge iron, so it would crush them. But yeah, they had the pointy bits. I will. I could have sworn that they were pointy bits. That's why I said, "Oh look, Paul Collis." Then when I looked closer, I thought, "Where's the pointy bits?" So I had to put pointy bits on. Sorry about that. Like if Kermit was so... going disco, disco, disco duck. Okay. Kermit's flashier than cousin. Kermit's flashier cousin Kurt. Oh, okay, you've lost me. You've 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 lost me, Mariah. That you watch probably much more Sesame Street than I do, or Jim Henson. <laughs> oh, Julie posted a picture of the brushes in in the makers group. Okay, we'll have to get over there. Wow, that's pretty neat. I like that. Oh, I'd like. That's to very moody. Yeah, Pretty I like mood, lots it? more of the green on there. Yeah, well, I can put more green on top. <laughs> Ooh. Where's my other oh, end? Well, that's not ready yet. I want to use the string bit as well. Very moody. Yeah. Oh, I like the string it. bit isn't very accurately done, I'm afraid, because I'm not clever enough to do that. So it's a bit wider. But it's pretty neat to play with. And I definitely want to play with the one with the thinner string when I've finished gluing it. Well, and then you could also, and this is just me thinking, so that you're not getting the same print all the time. You could just take a piece of string and weave it back and forth on your gel plate the way you want could it. Do. Then put your your uh, stencil down on top of that instead of having to glue it down. Or just put the put the put that stencil down, take a print, lift it, take a print, put a piece of string on now because I used this sort of thing, didn't I? Yeah. I didn't use the pieces. So you can do it that way as well. Oh, you is know, it, is it I'm up thinking you could probably do whatever you want. Could I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we could just sit here and go on and on. Of, let's do this, that, and the other thing. Oh, don't forget that I other think, thing. I think that's ready. That's ready. Just check this bit over here. I'll try a finger that hasn't got any black on yeah, it. Uh-oh, it's not quite ready. That little bit isn't quite ready. The rest of it's ready, but that little bit isn't quite. How do you tell if it's ready if all your fingers have ink on them? 
Yeah, very good question. Or paint. <laughs> use your elbow. <laughs> that that is it. true. Yeah, use, use your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. No. I think his lordship got up again. He was quite tired today. He came home early, but he was quite tired. Yeah. So I went to sleep yeah. about two or something. No, I don't want to use that. And it's I want to put the cream on. It's only Wednesday. Well, I'll tell you, the weather has played havoc with us. It was, it was um, in the mid 40s over the weekend and then it was or uh, prior to the weekend and then the weekend was like 70s and then it by monday it was back down to the 30s and 40s weird it is Make Just up weird. Mind. there's that limey green yep Right, this time for the white tissue. White tissue. There we go. White tissue. The nice thing with the white tissue is it's um it doesn't come through doesn't like the black me. does, right? No. <laughs> Gonna have to stick for a bit, stay for a bit. Now, what did I do with my other plate? I'm gonna have to put that away, and we'll play with the beetles. And I want to play with this bit as well. I know it's over there. I'm just going to fetch it. <laughs> it won't be long. If there's a craft to launch, it's only me. I have to go look up Kerman's cousin Kurt because I don't. Did you make that up, or is there really a cousin Kurt? So that's a bit of black tissue underneath the chair. There we are. I still have the uh, French chef in my head, or the Swedish chef. Bork, bork, bork. Work, 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 work. You made that. I see. You had me. You made it up. And you had me thinking I had to go look that up. <laughs> That's what. See, my legs are too short to be pulled that far. <laughs> <laughs> my favorites are the Swedish chef and animal. <laughs> Yeah, no. I quite like Oscar. Oscar's okay. Yeah, Oscar's okay. okay. Now, where's that other? Oh, no, that's good. Monster is good. Cookie Monster. Me want cookie. Cookie. Me want cookie. There we are. I knew I had another one somewhere. Yeah. Sharon's here. Hi, Sharon from Textured Jungle. Hello, Sharon. Yay. She was doing chores. Oh. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> I don't say it too loudly. My husband might hear. <laughs> I'll be streaming live with, with Sharon Saturday. Goody. We haven't uh I, I don't remember what time. Sharon Sharon knows. Um it's usually the first Tuesday and second Saturday. So like every other no, third Saturday. But anyway, there were I think she decided there were five Saturdays. Well, she didn't decide, but there are 
one, two, three, four. There's five Saturdays in April, and so it kind of. Yeah, because it's a fifth Saturday and it's not on the normal schedule. So, yep, we're going to play Saturday. First and third. Thank you. So it's like every other Saturday, but because there's an extra Saturday this month, we're going to go ahead and stream. So what color shall I use now? Oh, you're still on the fence? Huh? Hmm. What? She's still on the fence of, of of what to create Saturday, I think. I'm loving that new beetle. You really did better with that one. Bigger one. I forgot his antenna, though. So he's lost his antenna. Near then. Beetles, beetles. Shall we do black? What do you think? Prussian black. blue. Prussian blue. I'm a Prussian, Prussian blue. I'm a Prussian blue. Um, whatever you want to do, Sharon. We don't have to if you're not up to it because it is an extra day. Yeah, empty that tube out. Sharon says, those remind me of cave paintings. Bugs, you know, like on cave walls, bug drawings. Mm. Hi, CW. CW Brown says, hi, Fran and Violet. Hi, Caroline. Is it Caroline or Carolyn? I think it's Caroline. And then what will you use to pull them? Well, I'll start with um, some white tissue. Oh, you're going to go that way. You're not going to pull the stencils up and then dry it and pull? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the stencils up and then take a pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing your bugs around your room, they'll stick to something. Certainly will. Don't put them in your tea. No, I think I'd better avoid that one. Yeah. I'll just grab a knife. Make as least disturbance of it as possible. Yeah. I want to see how the new one comes out. Oh, he came out really well. Cool. Yeah. Here's the old one. He's still doing fairly well, you know, for the old one. Yeah. But the new one looks really good with the extra hole. Ooh. Smaller, bigger holes. Slightly bigger Smaller. holes, yeah. I widened the lines a bit as well. CW, I know that uh, Patricia is off taking care of Izzy, and Mar that's just Mariah. And Brad's hanging around somewhere. There you go. Right, Sharon? She really did a good job drawing and cutting those. Thank you. You can see where the paint clogged up some of the old holes. Ooh, There's Brad. So if anyone wasn't here earlier, um, Fran saw some bugs and were at pictures of bugs. And so these are her drawings of her idea of those bugs. She drew them out. This, and one, had them. this, this one is a weevil with the proper antenna on, of course. Uh, but all the others are that that's sort of the shape of a ladybird, but I just gave it different markings and then I went mad with the other two. So basically. So we'll let that one dry. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the Lucas Krill, see what's happened with that. There you go. Oh, 
while that's drying over there. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, uh -oh. There. bit of a gap there. I see. Pull the rest of it there. Uh -huh. Not too bad at all. I quite like that. Nice marks. I, mean, I know it's pinky. It's a couple more to a violet. Broken dead violet. <laughs> Why would you call a paint color broken dead violet? Don't know. You'll have to ask them. Well, if it's an Amsterdam looking, color, ring them up. Find out. If, if you were looking at a flower, a violet flower, and it was broken and dead, wouldn't it be kind of brown and shriveled up? Not like really depends on whether it's just dead or quite dead <laughs> it didn't say well <laughs> dead is dead there's no like half dead or you know it dead uh -huh. broken and dead so i'm thinking a broken off violet flower and it's dead so dead is dead mm -hmm. not partially if you dead. Think so. yeah so that means there's no life to it, no color, no vibrancy. That would make it brown and bleh. Yep. Well, I'm going to use um, violet oxide trans, which is my own invention, which basically all it is is just violet oxide with some uh, impasto, some yeah. of the Dalarani impasto in it to make it more transparent -y. Zombie violets, yeah, zombie violets. Mm. Zombie violet color. Yeah. There won't be much of this because it uh, it disappears quite well. See. Yeah. The Beatles, like in "We Love You," yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah. Not those kind of Beatles. Okay. I'm talking to Sharon. You can ignore me, Fran. Can I? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can ignore me. I'm talking <laughs> to Pat. You just do your thing. I'm putting these down, dirty side down, just to see if anything happens. To see if it leaves any impression. Yeah. Marks. Exactly. Extra paint. Yeah, get the get those legs. <laughs> On that one, the th skinny legs push down well because um, I noticed on your first pull, one of the legs didn't seem to. Yeah, it didn't, did it? Yeah. So make sure on your new beetle that all the legs are adhered well. Yeah, I might thicken them up a little bit. Purple, the pur color purple was saved for royalty because it was so expensive to import and make. Hmm. Mm -hmm. They used to crush Use the beetles to shell. make purple? It was snails. Oh. So, oh yeah, CW says. Um, Tyrenian. The, Tyrenian. They used cochineal. I hope I said that right. Cochineal, cochineal. cochineal beetles to make red and the purple yep. came from snails. Yep, correct. So how do you know that? That's not like dating. Well, probably, it's like they were saying, somebody was saying the other day that somebody in the land where cochineal beetles are, they must have been making some, oh, it was QI, that was it, making some um, polenta or something. And um, some beetles, of which there are millions, fell into the polenta and they were mixing it up. And it went, oh, it's gone pink. Oh, I like your pink polenta. <laughs> and then Alan Davis says, no, no, they wouldn't say that. They'd say, oh, I like the pink polenta. <laughs> Give it to me more of the pink polenta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Using his uh, generic... 
Mexican accent. <laughs> CW said she read a book. Carolyn said she read a book on the color red. So that's where. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Well, Fran watches QI and she gets a lot of her education from QI, which is a British tele com comedy television show. Panel very, show. Yeah. And it's cool. um it's short for quite interesting. They get points for being quite interesting, not yeah. for being obvious. They get a wah 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 siren for being obvious. <laughs> So Sharon says, I'm wondering why they call that purple dead beetles then. That's what I said. That is nice. I like that. Isn't that lovely? I like that. And it, happy beetles. Look, little happy smiling beetles. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Okay. I like that. That's nice. Pulled up quite a bit of that um, Lucas Krill. There's still some of it down there, though. So we'll see what we can do with the next bit. Let's see if we can find a bit of Yeah, you've spare. got a piece. Look on, oh. your, look on your gel plate in his elbow, in the crook of his elbow. There's still, is that a piece of paper? The other no. Side? That. Yeah. That's the Lucas Quill that we didn't get all of it up. Wow. Yeah, QI, Stephen Fry was on there. Diane, somebody or other. All the time. Yeah. He's funny. Diane somebody or other. What, what's Diane somebody or other? Isn't that who runs, who does QI now? No. That's Sandy Toxvig. Oh, does okay. It now. okay. She, took a, she took over from Stephen Fry. Yeah. And she said, you don't know, but um, when I was taking over from Stephen Fry, he said, um, he, he said to me, because she asked me what it was like. And she, he said, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Invest and depend. Fun. See, the legs didn't really come through. I wonder why. Yeah. I know you, I know you well, there we go. Well, it, it uh, had less of the purple on, uh, less of the um, Prussian blue on that bit, obviously. It came off on the other thing. So there we go. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. It's fine, fine. I want to go back and do some of the string one next. There we go. Lovely. I can feel this. It's left quite a lot of texture on there. Now, there's not going to be much else. I'm going to pull it quickly. Okay. Yeah. And I'll get a... Ooh. Ooh. A cap up more from... Um, Violet is coming out on this. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Do you see where the Lucas Krill attached to the Caput Mortar and Violet? Not That's rather good. That would make nice colored people, pieces. Huh? You really have to put it up screen so we can see it all. There you go. Well, no, I didn't mean close up. I meant centered better. Very nice. I'm thinking that this bit is lovely, where the, where the caput mortar and yep. violet come through. And yes, some lovely that. impressions on that. And I've still got stuff down here. Do you think I should do another go of the caput mortar or something else? Something else. What shall I use? Oh, I could go, I could go copper. Okay. Why not? Why not? Why, Why not? Want to see what you've got left on the plate? Mm hmm That's where I saw Sandy. She was on the Great Bit Great British Baking Show, Bake Off. You know. Yes. Yes, yeah, she I was. Knew I had yes. seen her somewhere else. She's very good. She's very very good. I like her. I was afraid I wasn't going to like who was going to replace Stephen Fry, but I like her quite a lot. Um, Ian didn't like her much to start with, but he's got used to her now. Julie says the uh, going back to what you just pulled. Julie says that looks awesome. Sharon says gorgeous, Fran, and CW says very cool. Lovely. Thank you. Yep. Take a bow. Thank you so much. Move those out of the way a bit. So I can rub off a bit more. 
Carry her off a bit more. She's also been on Time Time. I don't know that. One. Time Team. Time Team. Time Team. Yes, she has. She's inter interested in history as well because she's she's incredibly intelligent, Sandy Toxvik. You um, you would not believe the things she knows, really. Because I mean, half the time they're reading off a um, of a what do you call it? Cue card thingy thingy prompt. What do you call it? One of them things. It's not a cue card. It's a, a auto prompt thingy. Yeah. They're reading the information off that, or she's reading them off the card. But half the time she puts the card down and tells you something else she knows about it. And she's not reading that off anything. It's out of her own head. Marvellous. I'm, I'm thinking oh. Mariah is watching a lot of Izzy TV and missing grow, teleprompter and missing missing, That's uh, it. missing adult TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, the other side. Been there, done that. That's going to give us rather a nice thing, don't you think? Very nice. I think so. Yeah. Just leave that for now. And go pull the and other we'll one. And with the other one and see if we can get to doing the. What's it? I want to put something on that. Last bugs. Hopefully. I want to use the metallic yellow on this one. Because I can. Everybody went dead silent, putting <laughs> on metallic yellow. It's quite oh. brassy, quite um, yeah. insistent in its yellowness. <laughs> I was trying to remember a show when my boys were growing up. Well, probably when they hit puberty, what, what we were watching. And all I can think of is Pinky in the Brain. I would not allow The Simpsons. I did not like that show at the time, but I got inundated with Pinky and the Brain going to take over the world. Same thing we do every day. I've got another one over there, so I'll put this over there and see what that other one's got. Okay. Remember what that one's got on it. What does that say? Frogs, bugs, and. Chocolate? <laughs> um, chocolate? Stencils. Frogs and bugs stencils. Stencils. Okay. Well, I got chocolate. Really? On. <laughs> oh, there's still some left on there. Oh, wow. See, that's what happened to me the other night when we were playing. Is it's I got like three or four pulls. I couldn't believe how much kept staying down. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good though. I like that the effect of that. That's the. Uh, I think that's that's a bit of the pewter. I can see some pewter there. And. Um, did I use oxide black? Didn't did I? I used um the did I use the indigo? I can't remember what I used on that. That's not the one with Prussian blue, is it? Prussian blue. No, that was on the bugs. That's the other one. Yeah. Hold that farther up so we no, can look, it's it's black. It's the oxide black. Oh yeah. That's okay. what it was. Oxide yeah. black. That's right. And then I uh, pulled it with the iridescent green. Very nice. I like that. Pretty good. I like that. You can even see some of the string marks through it. Yep. I must do more with string. That's the one with the PM Artist Studio stencil. The oh yes. Port colors. This is port colors. This is port colors. Port colors. Yeah. Port cull, as in kill everybody, is. Oh, but it's the altered one. Yes, the one with all the little arrows. I did one with just one lot of arrows, this one. 
And then I decided I wanted arrows all over it. So if you want this, you're going to have to ask um, uh, PM Artist Studios to do one for you. <laughs> it's going to be a special order. <laughs> I want to do some more of these. And I want to use this one with the string. I love the string. Right. I'm going to do some. Uh, I'm going to get some violet, something like that. And there's the link. So go see their, oh, well their, their laser prints and all their goodies. They got goodies. It's a tear. They're deep in dirt today. Ooh, really? Yeah. Wow. Ultramarine violet. I see that. You were doing buggies and I was, my brain was on fishies, exotic and tropical fishies. I did a fish once. It was more like a, a submarine fish. Um, uh, but it was a mechanical one, like a steampunk one that had sunk to the bottom of the ocean. And I was obviously in a bit of trouble. Uh, Julia, I'm sorry. Do you have a, uh, a knee brace? Do you have a knee sleeve or a knee brace for your uh, that you can wear? Paint's drying. Don't tell mm -hmm. her what the paint is drying. Ian's here. Hi, Ian. Hi, hey, Ian. Hi, Violet. Yep. Hi, Violet. Right, let's get a, a white tissue down. So I've got it right side down. And uh, sheet paper. Sheet paper. Oh, not one that doesn't yeah. fall down in no time flat. Oh. There we go. You should get some football knee pads. Those work nice, too. They help brace the kneecap. Football or rugby or whatever it is. What do they call it in Australia? That kind of play. Rough. <laughs> We're going to come back to that. I'm going to remind you of that. <laughs> That's enough, surely. Right. Well, I didn't mean for padding, but they do put something on to stabilize the knee in addition to knee pads. And it was the stabilizer that I was thinking of. Well, I should. <laughs> yeah, we call all that sports scene in my house. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> I wonder what Lisa has. Now, what was... Okay. All right. That's the registration type play. Yep. That's me using my arm for registration. Okay. And it's slightly off because I pulled it up once and then I thought, no, I need to use this side. So it's slightly off. It doesn't matter. Because when yeah. P used it, it was slightly off. She got wonderful effect. I'm going to leave that for a bit. Kind of like a shadow yeah. effect. Yeah, exactly. My Beatles is sticking. Mm -hmm. My Beatles is sticking. Look at those beetles. 
they do get taped up. I know what you mean, Julie, but I thought they had like a sleeve that they slipped. I know when my husband got both knees replaced, but he had like a sleeve to wear that helped stabilize, especially when he was doing his therapy. I think that needs to wait a bit longer. Let's go really, see the other one. Tissue paper. Yeah, I think it needs to wait a bit longer. This one's a little older. Rugby. Let's see what this one does. Well, they're much nicer in, in rugby than they are in, in uh, American football. Oh, this is nice. Lisa Streaky. says, no. wow. Lisa says, some of the beetle shapes remind me of Nutter Butter cookies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. If I'd left that a bit longer, it would all have come out like this one. Hmm. Not bad, though. I quite like the slightly scattered effect you could always put the beetles back down on top hold it closer to your monitor so we can see more of it yeah not not closer to the camera yeah there you go now you're centered oh that's cool i like that i mean you did lose some of it yeah Mr. yeah but i quite like the effect it's like they're moving really fast <laughs> they're all running in that direction sideways Weirdo. And um, we've got more here. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I think you should do that again and leave it longer, like you said, because that looked cool. Those would have, yeah, those would have come out really nice yeah. if they weren't running away. I don't know that I could do the registration on that, so I'll probably have to pull that and start again. Yeah. Sharon so says, I now have with. you on three screens in my house while I move about and do chores. That's just way <laughs> too much of us. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I'm going to have a go with one of these because I've not tried one yet. Probably won't work very well because I've, I've not used them much, well, ever. We, we now know Brad loves Nutter Butter cookies. And so Brad needs to, to uh, design a... We need more. We need we need more subbies over at PM Martyr Studio. Send your friends over there so Brad can make some more emojis. We need him. We need a peanut head emoji now. That's not to say you shouldn't send your friends over here to sub France too. <laughs> That's um midnight blue flash. Or blue violet flash. Oh. Or uh, <laughs> gold flash. Would looks. Oh, I don't like that. Look at that. I know that looks pink. Pinky pink. pink. Yeah, pukey pink. Pukey pink. Like like. Yeah, uh, the green pink. flash. Right. Almost look like Pepto Bismol. Ugh. What the yellow green flash? No, the pink or pink. gold flash. Yeah, it's a bit naff. Nah. What do you think? Don't give yourself too many choices. You get a headache. Well, that's what I'm giving myself three. So what have we got on here? Let's have a look at what we've already got on here on the other side. Right, it's mostly blue. There's not much of the yellow showing through the, the metallic yellow. That's really on this side. So I think possibly the yellow green flash might be best. Well, anything with blue is going to get lost. Anything with yellow yeah. is going to get lost. Well, this is um, yellow green flash. It, why is yellow going to get lost? You can't see the yellow. Oh, it's not. It's, it looks like there's more on the other side. It just yeah, exactly. But you won't see that when it comes up. This is true. Oh, yeah. This is true. So I, I'll go with this. Oh, wait a minute. Has it got a thingy on it? No, it hasn't. There we go. Is hasn't it, got a thingy on it, has it? Or has it got a thingy inside? Is it new and you need to peel the... 
Oh, it's got. Oh, wait a minute. It's got a. It's new and it's got a thingy inside. Mm -hmm. It's not a, a paper thingy. It's something else. Plastic seal. Yeah, some sort of plastic sealy thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Oh, great. Did you get it all over? Pardon? Right, let's try again. Okay. Michelle's ink, ink it's stamp it. I hope I said that right and didn't. It's either Michelle's sink it stamp it or Michelle's ink it stamp it. So I hope it's probably I the latter. Yeah. She says, I love the bugs. Yeah, the camera moved. I'm sorry, Julie, everyone. Um, Fran, your your plate is a bit. There you there go. You go. There we go. I didn't realize. Sorry. I'm nudging my camera all the time. That's right. So this is blue, uh, yellow, green flash of the color change, which I've never used before in my life. So this will obviously fail. But we'll figure it out eventually. Does it dry fast and you need to get paper down there? Oh, probably. Probably. Thank you, Julie. I'm sorry. I'm grabbing things as fast as I can. There we go. That way around. Lisa, are, you are you referring to my story about the hybrid car? If you're if that's how far back you are, you need to refresh and and because we're way past that. Now, now. There we are. <laughs> what? What, what? What? I don't know. Julie said, now, now, Fran. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything. I haven't said I'm, I'm being good. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly. <laughs> Move those out of the way a bit. Now, let's have a look and see what we might get. That is what we might get. Okay. Which is pretty sketchy, but could be something. So, as this is my first try with the color oh. change, I'm going to leave that for a while, give it the most chance of working. Really? Yeah, why not? Okay. Is uh, that wrong? Well, I don't know. Is there something in it that. No, I think you should leave it. it well, I'm I just want to make sure the paper has, in, has enough time to suck it all up, you yeah. know, and for the wet paint to bond properly with the dry paint yep okay that's all i was thinking just to be on the same side so doodle dry. potential i want to go back to doing mark making really i want to do some mark making without the gel plate you know just um on papers yep what do you think there Look at all that that's staying down there. That's yeah, right. there's a lot staying down there. But we've got some nice string marks on there. That's that's rather good. I like that. Shared I can't wait to find out on the other string, the one the thin one. Lisa Mingus said Froyle Davis shared that. Shared what? Did I miss something? What did Froil share about the color changing paints? I thought that was P. P was always doing. Okay, then using I those. Something for sure. Tell us, Lisa. Tell us. I'd like to have another go. I'd like to put some dark in there. 
And and you were correct. Just so you know, you were correct. It's Michelle's Ink It, Stamp It. I, okay. Thank you, Michelle. I'm going to use this because that came out quite well with the black. Yep. So I thought I'd have a go. That's the pewter, right? Yep, the pewter. Yeah. Yep. It worked pretty good the first time. Yeah. Let's see if we can do it again. And on black paper, and I've got at least one sheet of black paper left. Okay. Ready cut. The rest is not ready cut, so I would have to cut some deliberate um, <laughs> I know it's different. But I'm going to do it that way around. I like the stream. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 I've not really tried the future on this one. We're now two hours in, just so you know. I don't want you to get too tired. No, I'm fine at the moment. Good. But I think I want to arrange a much more intensive mark making next time. Julie has to go to work. See you all later. Thank you, oh, Julie. Julie. What a shame. Thanks I, for coming. Yeah, I hope you have a good day you at work. Day. Your knee doesn't hurt too much. That's what I was saying. Okay, pull it up. Registration time. Yeah, registration time. The Beatles want to join in. <laughs> Sticking to me on. You're welcome. You have a good day, Julie. We'll be thinking of you. I think I should leave that. Mind you, I'm leaving everything, but it, it does that. You've got to. Sometimes you have to. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't do that the other night, and remember, and my paper tore a bit, and then you said, well, you need to leave it, and so I did. I think I need to leave that still further. I'll go and have a look at the other one over the other way. And then we'll decide whether we're going to do anything else or whether that will be that. We've got so much stuff on the floor, I can barely move. <laughs> Sharon wants to know how many plates do you have? Um, well, I've got three eight by tens, two. 12 by 14s and one 12 by 12 and one 6 by 6 a carabelle one that came with a texture plate Just a lot. I use the big ones quite a lot you'd be surprised when you do the 12 by 12 pulls yes you use the big ones a lot yep 12 by 14s, yeah. 12 by 14s. Well, you, but you use 12 by 12 paper, don't you? Yeah. Mm, no, I use the um, uh, tissue paper and I use a whole sheet or half a sheet. Okay. Which is not 12 by 12, it's bigger. I know, Sharon. There's still some down there. These are the sort of things that I would come and do some more stuff on top of. Yes. Doodle potential is what um, Julie said, I think. 
Yeah. I have one 12 by 14, Sharon, and, but I cut it down to an eight by 12, I think, and a whatever the rest of it is. And I use the eight by 12. Mm. My problem is I got a 12 by 14 thinking I was going to cut it down. And I liked it so much, I kept using it. So I thought, mm -hmm. I'll buy another one next month, and I'll cut that one down. So I bought another one next month and then started using both of them together, you know, take one away and put it. So <laughs> I couldn't do that either. Yeah, so I still haven't cut one up yet. <laughs> Just like the big ones. So that's rather good, that. I like that. I do too. That was lovely. I love that. I love that one. I mean, that's just indigo. It's either indigo or Prussian blue, but it's just the blue. It's nothing else. What else you got? Um, there is this from my first experiments while we were playing together. Uh -huh. I've got to move this one because it's still damp. Doing the Beatles. Yes. And that involved, uh, it was a little more complex because I put one colour down, uh, the greens, and it was scratchy. And now the greens is what I pulled it with. That's right, the last one. So I put down the bugs and I went over them with different colours. Yes. Like on this one, I went over with the metallic yellow. And with that one, I went over with... Um, I think it was ultramarine blue or something like that. This one, I went over it with a red. You can see I went over it with a blue first, and then went over it again with a red. And That's this one, I went over it up. with... The red doesn't. The red and blue aren't showing up too well for our camera. Yeah. yeah the the red doesn't show up too well for my eyes either, but um, you can like, see no. the... Yeah. You can see the shadow oh, of the blue. Yeah. And on this one, I used uh, copper and gold in the center. So I used two different ones. What I used was I used one of these to just put it where I wanted it. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. But you could use a brush just as easily. It wouldn't hurt to use the brush at all. So that's what I did with that. And then um, I think the first color worked down was the um, transparent red iron oxide. And I pulled the whole thing with the green. So Sharon that was just says, experimenting to see what happened. Yep, Sharon says very metallic looking. It does. It. it yeah. Really well, that's like what that. I was going for. But I, I did only started going for it on these two. I didn't think of it on these ones because I haven't actually got a metallic red or a metallic blue. Not in that sort of color. I've got the, I've got this one. But uh, that's an iridescent blue green. I tell you what would be good. This is really rather good, better than it looks in the in the tube. Iridescent blue black, that comes out beautifully, especially on black, on the black paper. Really lovely. Can I show you? Can I show you? That's the PBO. Yes, let me go and grab the sheet and show you what I mean. Now on this one, I was um, using this sheet to pull up the edges when I was doing something, so I pulled up. The iridescent blue black oh, around the edges of something I was doing, and then I pulled the edges again. This is Violet's fault. She obliterated the blue black by telling me to pull up the um, Prussian blue. So, but you yeah. can see how what lovely color it is on the blue on the black paper. Really well, I lovely. Know where there's more paint and paper, dear. You can do it again. Um, hi, oh, darling. Welcome. We're almost we're almost to the end, Darcy. I'm sorry you we've missed you. Um, you'll have I to missed. start from the beginning and see Mr. Ugly's head that Fran did and yeah. hear my silly story. Yeah. Oh, it's a very funny story. I thought it was hilarious when it happened. What I wanted to have a go with this. Didn't get round to it. Wanted to have a go with these. Didn't get round to them. It's amazing how fast the time goes. Right? It just zooms by. But I'll have a play with those on another go, on another time. But I definitely want to do mark making. It probably be without the gel plate, so that I can do uh, quite a lot on a big sheet or, or lots of little sheets or something like that. But 
painting onto it or stamping onto it. I haven't done stamping for so long. And I can do that with things like the impression plates. You see, I can use that as a stamp. Not a problem. I like Stamps that. really well on the gel plate, but I do love this yeah. um, Polynesian, geometric Polynesian. It's one of my favorite ones. That and the cellular membrane. Now, wait, wait a second. That geometric Polynesian is from one of PM Miter Studio stencils, and you use light and fluffy texture. Correct. Yes. Yep, that's I right. either use light and fluffy. I think I did use light and fluffy. Looking at it sideways on, it looks white there. So, yeah, yeah it must have been light and fluffy. But I've also used the stencil butter for some of the uh, texture plates I've made. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can use either. In fact, you can use any texture. You don't have to use right. Um, I, yeah. You can I make your own. There are recipes for making your own texture paste using marble dust and uh, PVA glue and um, white um, paint, or even um, uh, matte medium or something. So you can get a clear one. But yeah, you can make your own texture paste and just use cornstarch with it or something. So you don't have to use anything expensive to make a texture plate. Except, of course, the really lovely stencils from pre Artist Studio. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Yeah, we're, we're coming to the end. So go back and watch and see Mr. Ugly's head that Fran is working on. Yeah. I like these. These turned out really well, these ones. Really nice. And this one is lovely. And these two, um, the earliest ones, almost the earliest I did, very nearly. Welcome, that's welcome. on rice paper, and that's on the um, wet strength tissue paper, the white. But look how beautiful it is. You've just got to remember with using the rice paper, it's lovely and clear, and that was really quick. It was put it down, press it a little bit, pull it up. And I got the same, this is the same one, using exactly the same stuff so it was the second pull from that isn't that amazing that's cool that's lovely very cool i love that so i want to do more of this sort of thing and especially with the pastry brush the um not pastry brush um <sighs> barbecue Bast brush barbecue brush basting brush. basting yes yep. that's right same idea though i mean you could use a pastry brush if you wanted to yeah. um there's so many kitchen things you can use i've got a tea strainer i can use yeah, tea bag strainer. Yeah, that's around here somewhere. And I use this as well. This is what I used for these bits. So isn't that marvelous? Lovely. I'm quite pleased with those. I'm really pleased with them actually, especially the rice paper one. And that rice paper that broke the other day, when I put it down and I left it too long, even though um, Mariah had said, "Don't leave it too long." So I did, <laughs> and it tore on the plate. I hadn't even touched it after putting it down. The plate actually went and tore it for me. Oh. But even so, it's going to make lovely bits for collage. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Susan so says gonna... potato mashers work too. I yeah, do exactly. Have yeah, one. anything like that with holes or yeah, as anything well, flat, with holes. sharp or pointy that will hurt the gel plate. I agree. Well, look around your house and pick up anything. Yeah. I mean, once you've uh, finished the paint, you could use that. You'd need to round off the corners and make sure to be very careful how you use it because that will be sharp. But you could use that. You could well, certainly use it for spraying through just on paper. That wouldn't hurt. I'll tell you what I was looking at, and you're probably going to laugh at me, but we happen to have an old um, remote, TV remote that doesn't work anymore. It's a long remote. It was a universal one for whatever but anyway it's got all the little buttons on it different shaped buttons and i tried that and was like well that worked just a minute i've got one somewhere you can use anything as long as it won't poke holes in your gel plate i would give it here a we try. go like this I knew you were going to say that, so I was already around there fishing you mine out. Not you did. I did. Look, <laughs> right. It See, came off, right? Look, at the, look at the texture you're going to get off that. You can use both sides, even. Lovely little rubbery thing. Super. 
In fact, you could use it as a stamp on dry paper like that. Sharon says no she layers jewelry on the plate. Now, I would have to be careful with that because jewelry is usually a metal and I would be worried about hurting my plate. But, yeah. What's jewelry? Jewelry. Jewelry. Oh, jewelry. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's my American speaking. I know. I know. No, it's because I didn't hear the J. That's all. Because um, I've heard it from Bruce. And I thought it was something to do with that. Peacock, peacock, pecan, peacock earring, big peacock earrings. That well, yeah, peacock feathers, uh -huh. yeah. Well, yeah, we well, can use so many things. Well, I think that's us for today. And you've seen what caput mortuum violet can do, and you've seen what this was the. Violet Oxide Trends, which is I think is pretty good. Came out rather nice. Really nice. Like that. I used that to pull that one up, didn't I? So, yeah. So, uh, recommend, P, I recommend that you add some um, impasto to your Violet Oxide and mix it up, and it's lovely. There you go. There you go. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Let's bring back uh, Violet. So we can say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Have goodbye. a good day. Oh, you're teasing us now with a little butterfly. That's not fair. <laughs> you're going to tell us about that? I crocheted that. It's, that's all. It's lovely. No big deal. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Brad. Thank you. <laughs>